Hi everyone, um, it's Tyler and I here again and today we wanted to talk to you about something that can really help your training with your dog progress really quickly and it's not hard. Well, it can be kind of tricky if there's a lot of people in your household, but it's really easy to do. Um, so what we're going to talk about is consistency. Um, one of the things we said, have said before is that dogs learn all the time. Thanks Tyler, great angle. Um, dogs learn all the time and as do people. Everything you do, your dog is learning something from that. So if you're particularly consistent with things, it helps your dog learn more easily. If you are telling your dog to sit or put their butt on the ground or park it instead of just using the same consistent term, it's going to be a lot harder for them to understand. They don't speak English. You've got to teach them what these things mean. And if you're not giving that behavior the same name all the time, it's just going to get confusing for them. And it's going to get harder for the rest of the people in your household to communicate with your dog as well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give you a little example of something that I feel like I taught Tyler not through like a, a planned training session. I didn't ever set out and go, okay, today I'm going to teach Tyler this thing and this is how I'm going to do it, um, you know, and this is my plan. This was basically just a little phrase that I use all the time and of course through consistency, he's learnt what that means. Now hopefully he's going to do this perfectly for me, so we'll see how it goes. Um, let's, I'm just going to show you this and then we'll have another little bit of chat. You want to have a go? We're just going to do some sit and sit down over here. On your mat. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, down. Good job. Good job. Tyler, sit. Tyler, sit. Uh -huh. Yes. Good dog. You can see we're working on the sit from a down still. Good boy. Okay, so what we just did then, which is a little bit of sitting down is really irrelevant, but the point I hope you saw is that when I said all done, Tyler went, Woo, we're done now, I can go off and do my own thing. I never taught him that. I never specifically planned and trained him that. I taught him that purely by being consistent. Every time I end a training session, I say we're all done. If we're at the park and he's come running up to me in a recall and I give him a cuddle and then he can go away and do his own thing I say all done and he's like awesome I can go off and run around and play and do my own thing now purely through consistency this was not a plan so my point with all of this is this is another one of those things that you know people th feel like everything has to be a big deal be consistent it really helps the other thing I do with Tyler is every time I leave the house um, I say to him Bye bye puppy. We're going to try this now with him and see what he thinks. Um, but again, this is something that I have used every time and he now knows that that means most importantly that he's not coming. <laughs> he gets all excited and then I can tell him bye bye puppy. So come here Baba. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You ready? Okay. Bye bye puppy. Bye bye puppy. Oh, did you see that face? Bye-bye, puppy. Oh, it's a little bit heartbreaking, but that's, an, I'm sorry, that was a big lie. I'm sorry. Um, so that's another thing that I have done consistent, consistently with my, with my boy, and he now knows what that means. And it short circuits that little debacle at the door when you're trying to get out. He knows that means he gets to chill out in the aircon at home. So to sum up this video, really what I want to say is try to think about what you're teaching your dog and the, the terminology that you're using with your dog. Along with all of that, if you're quite clear and consistent when you're training with using the same words, the same kind of hand signals, your dog will learn a lot faster because it's just clear to him what's going on. He's seeing that same thing repeated over and over again instead of 500 different variations. Okay, so give that a go. Let me know what you think. And if you've got any questions at all about any of this, can you stop breathing in my face? <laughs> um, please let us know and um, we'll try and look at that and maybe do a future video on something for you as well. Thanks so much. Bye.